Okay, a little quick tutorial on internal subtitles for The Queen's Gambit, episode five and six, to help out a, a person stuck with it. So this is from the Big N Network, which means if you right click on one of these episodes and open it in MKV Toolnix, you will see all the subtitles. So we've got the video in English, we've got the audio track in English, and then the rest are the subtitles. So this is a great tool if you want to remove subtitles. So we'll remove everything except for the English. But the original problem was there was no forced subtitles for the foreign language parts. And that looks like because the foreign language parts didn't have subtitles originally from the network that produced it. Um, if you did see that, you'd see a second, or if that was the case, you'd see a second English subtitle and it'd have the forced flag on it. So just in case it did, you would leave that checked and then you'd go over here and just determine um, or just check to see if the forced flag was set. And, and everything else would be removed, the other subtitle files, and you'd go to output. I'm sorry, you'd go to multi, multiplexer and you click start multiplexing. And down here you'd see it ramp up it's really fast because an MKV is simply a container file for audio, video, and subtitles. So 100% it's done. Then we go back to our directory and we have the same file with a number one. And if you opened it in VLC, you'd see there's only sub, two subtitle files, but we'll just open it in MKV Tool Mix again because I really can't play the video. And oh, you see, I, I missed a few. Mistakes happen. So you uncheck it again, um, re-multiplex it, it's done. And now we have another file, and that one is correct. So, Subscene had no four subtitles for just the foreign language parts because I'm betting the network that produced it had that as part of the script. The viewer wasn't supposed to know what was being said. But I have another example. The, the latest episode of Tehran dropped, the final episode of season one, and this came as an MKV file, and there's also an English subtitle file. So if you click on it, um, it just opens up in a text editor, at least under Linux it does. This is elementary OS, and you can see the subtitles. So if a movie or a TV show comes with a subtitle file, sometimes there's one, two, or three. The largest one is the hearing impaired or the SDH um, subtitles for, for the deaf. They're usually really the same. Or the normal subtitle, which is a little bit smaller file size. Or the forced one, which is really small in comparison. Um, so if I right click and open this up in MKV Tool Nix, this is handled a little bit differently because the audio track is all in Hebrew. That's the default audio for this one. So if I was prepping this for my server, you see how it's got Hebrew for, um, I'm sorry, Hebrew for subtitles that are forced, and I'll get rid of everything else but the English subtitle. Okay, so they're all unchecked. We'll double check this time. Just the English one is set. Because the default audio track is in English, I don't have to do anything to have the Plex server load this automatically. Um, because the foreign language is set, or the actual audio track is set to a foreign language, and it happens to be Hebrew in this case, I can leave the, the Hebrew subtitle there. Um, I've had trouble if I take it out, then my English subtitles don't play correctly. So if it's in a foreign language, leave the foreign subtitle alone too. Um, and this is from the 
newer network that starts with an A. So these, these rips from the streaming services usually have the subtitles already included and you can just take out what you don't need. So again, you'd go up to multiplexer, you'd click start multiplexing, and down here in the very lower right, your progress is shown and it goes very fast. So I have done this already today with, with this episode of Turan. So as you can see, when you go into the episode, the default subtitles load automatically because the default audio track is set for another language and it knows you need it. If it was a English audio track, you would just have to make sure the four subs were flagged. Now here's one more thing. If you don't have internal subtitles and you're not dealing with the, the foreign language audio track and you have an external subtitle like this, this acquisition came with an external um, subtitle. You'd simply format the name so it'd be in the convention that Plex expects to make a metadata match to. And if you, if you have a whole bunch of episodes to do, multiple seasons, you'd use FileBot to speed this process up. Now what I like to do, is, especially for the first episode, anything after the, the season and episode formatting is not used to make the metadata match. So FileBot will put the episode name in by default and then it'll be just MKV or MP4. I like to leave this remaining part in as an indicator of which release group I got the file from. Um, if it's a single season TV show, you don't really need to leave it in. You know what you got. If it's a if, if you collect in 1080p or 720p in the X264 file compression versus the, the or the H264 file compression versus the H265, um, you know what you're using by default. So the marker here isn't as important. But what you do want to do, if this was a regular sub, regular movie in English or a regular TV show in English, you'd have to make the subtitle match properly. And if this was a regular English subtitle, it'd be ENG. If it was a force subtitle, it'd be ENG um, dot forced. And that's all you have to do. Drop that in the proper directory and this will come up with the subtitles preloaded if your server settings are set correctly. And that would be That would be, I believe, in the language section. So, automatically select audio and subtitle tracks. Prefer audio tracks in English. Subtitle mode shown with foreign audio. That'll load the foreign audio tracks by default. Prefer subtitles in English. So let me see if I have an example of how that works out in my TV show show collection. We'll go to the M's. I think I have a good example. And we will look for Messiah. And if I click on an individual episode, you'll see that these are already loaded. And maybe this was before I learned as much as I needed to know about subtitles. This one has the forced one automatically loaded. Um, so I, this was around the series that I kind of cut my teeth on really having to learn subtitles. Anyway, long story short, these two episodes, The Queen's Gambit, Episode 5 and Episode 6, I'm betting if you watch the same episode directly on the network, the streaming network, you would not see subtitles in those parts and that was why you're not finding them at subscene. But anything that comes from this network, anything that comes from 
any of the streaming networks. Usually when they're ripped, all the subtitles are included. And again, install MKV Tool Next, right click on the file, open with it, and manipulate it any way you want. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope this is helpful to you.